Oh, honey mosquito, not. I think it is. Oh, it looks like he almost hit his head on the branch. Oh. You all right, buddy? Hello, everybody. Gray still plays, and we're back with more Taito Ecology. No time for BS. I want to show you guys something. There is a new setting in the game, from what I have seen, that I just cranked all the way up. It is the texture quality. And man, look at the lushness of this area it is looking really really cool and not only that it looks like this antelope is having having a little bite of this honey mesquite over here we got another antelope kind of hanging inside of this skunk bush sumac very neat i'm loving how absolutely how absolutely like gorgeous the game is becoming you know this game was if you remember if you if you look at my beginning videos you'll see kind of the simplicity of the graphic style. Now, not that that's a bad thing. Graphics don't have to be these huge, elaborate things, you understand? I mean, you can have fun with a simple graphic style game, but just looking at how things are turning out, I am very, very satisfied. And look at this! I had talked about this before. I was hoping that at some point we would get some fish uh, or not some fish, I should say, some texture movement to the water, and it looks like we've got that! That is awesome! So you guys know what we need to do. Our biodome is looking pretty darn good, and that means that we're going to, and we have, of course, 300 energy, which means we need to start putting down a whole bunch of stuff. Now, we can take a look at our alerts here real quick. It looks like we've lost some bobcats, and they had low health, so they were starving, and that's most likely because, like, all of our jackrabbits and deer mice and everything died out. So the bobcats had to fi uh, file in right behind those guys with nothing nothing left to live for. <laughs> no more foods and such to eat. So let us begin straight away by putting down, like, a couple of snakes and things. I want to get at least a few of those out. Maybe a, kin a king snake over here. Now, one thing I'm noticing right now, as I just put these different creatures down, is I'm noticing... And maybe it's just me, but I'm noticing it's a little bit easier to put stuff down in clustered areas. And what I mean by that is before, I would really kind of have to, like, wander all around the map in order to try and find a place that was free so I could put down different creatures. But right now, it just seems like I'm able to kind of click wherever I want and get these little guys down, and that's awesome. Let's go ahead and put some deer mice right over here by these snakes. We want to make sure that they're there. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that you can never have enough deer mice. Some frogs as well. In fact, I think what we'll do, we'll start moving toward the water over here. Let me see. Yeah, just kind of like this here. And we'll start... We'll start putting down kind of some creatures over by the water. I had said I wanted to move out here. There we go. In fact, we can probably zoom in for this because there's not there's not a ton of stuff over here yet. What else do I want to put over here? Um, some jackrabbits would actually be great. I think I'm going to go ahead and just straight away put down at least two groupings of these guys. I'm glad that we got these shade trees down because I'm not going to have to really waste a ton of energy on the trees at the moment. We could put down some some bison but those are really really expensive let's start with some more plants and detrius reducers i would like to get at least a set of mushrooms over here and probably like a set of mushrooms right over here like on this little island that'd be great let me go ahead and pull back slightly over here there we are now from there we want to begin with our classic stuff, the different sage grasses and the sage, or rather the different sage bushes and the grama grass um, and the buffalo grass and all that. Go ahead and put down a couple of clusters there. Now this is interesting. I feel like there's... Did I take the time to put down this much grass? Because look at how many there are. I don't know, it's also possible that the grass is starting to flourish as time goes on that's that's kind of the interesting thing about this game is i don't know you know a hundred percent exactly how everything works so there may be some differences here and there that even we don't know about yet i'd like to get some milk fetch down too 
See where I can put this. Kind of... Oh. Let me try and move out a little bit here. There we go. Try and put this right next to this... This sage bush. There we go. Now, I know that there's at least, like, some corn flowers and stuff like that. I would like to get those guys down. We do need a little bit more energy in order to... There's the corn. There's the cone flowers. So, we need... Let's go ahead and get things fast forwarding as we often do enjoy. Want to get those cone flowers down and then I'll probably start working on getting maybe like some antelopes and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Look at it. That look at that there. This guy just like went to sleep. There's actually like a sleeping animation now. Actually, the animations for the animals look much more um in depth than they were before. I think, I'll pro I think I'll probably head around here and take a look at some of the different animal animations, and we'll see how much different they've actually gotten. Now, if you notice, there is a little... I'm, I'm noticing a very, very slight amount of, like, video jitter. You guys may not see it because I may edit it out, but I'm noticing it's almost like there's uh, a rendering issue going on or something, and I'm not 100% sure. Now, there's a ton of stuff on the board, so there is that. I mean, we have so many plants and creatures and everything else that it is possible that that is the reason for some of the little jumps and such i'd like to put down maybe a honey mosquito over here i think uh let's go ahead and zoom out to put this down this way i can make sure about where this is going right about there we go that's perfect and this whole area over here needs plenty of more just things so let's go ahead and start with some switch grass and from there, eh, we'll probably do just, ooh, the Prairie Blazing Stars. I forgot all about that. I do love those. In fact, I'd like to get a whole bunch of those. Maybe like a whole big pocket almost because they're so cool. There we go. And we don't have too many animals over here yet. So I'll probably start putting down just the various herbivores over here so they can start actually dining on this stuff. There we go, a couple more of these prairie blazing stars would be nice. Now I wonder if we zoom in here, I was just curious if there's any motion to the grasses yet, and it doesn't look like there is. I mean, these, these grasses here, are, you can see, are pretty simple textures. But I was just wondering if maybe there was like a little bit of sway or something to suggest that there was air movement inside of this area. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and wander real quick through our, through our graylands here and see if we can find some different animations and such on some of the creatures. I'm gonna zoom all the way in so we can see this. You see this guy here, that's a badger. I wonder, is he sleeping? It looks like he's taking a snooze or something. Oh, I guess he's just eating. Okay, moving through, we've got some more badgers going over here. It looks like he's heading toward this. I don't know 100% if that is a a uh, honey mosquito or not. I think it is. Oh, it looks like he almost hit his head on the branch. Oh. You all right, buddy? There he goes. He's chowing down on some grass. Nice. We do have a couple of different deers and such over here. There we go. Yes. Very nice. I can the animations are definitely definitely much more enhanced and much more detailed than they were. And I'm so glad to see that because the, uh, what do I call that? The instantly, <laughs> the instantly uh, passing out deer that we had before was a, was a little strange, I will say, when you just saw them topple to the ground. <laughs> and it's like someone knocked him out, like someone hit him with a baseball bat or something, and they just, they just <laughs> went out into the nether regions. Uh, let's see here. Kind of zoom out a little bit. We'll go ahead and sprint through here so I can continue putting different critters down. Now you'll notice we're at about 125 energy, a little bit more now, up to 130. So we've got some energy to put some things down. Let's put down some critters. Right away, I'm gonna start with some bees because I do want a pollinator over on this area. Now I noticed, I think, there we go. I was trying to notice if they have changed any of the costs yet of any of the creatures. It doesn't look like they have, but I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm gonna put down a coyote over here too. The coyote has quite a, a few different things to be able to eat, like the jackrabbits. I know I have at least two sets of jackrabbits over here. There they are. And I may even get 
one more set of jackrabbits over here because we always have an issue losing jackrabbits and maybe if we have like a whole bunch of them we'll actually get some juvenile jackrabbits and that'd be nice i would like to actually do that our buffalo are still around which i like so those guys have not died out yet and i'm so happy about that if i can even find out where their like main i don't know what to say where their main base is <laughs> where their bunker is where they are there we go bison right over here We've got three, an occupancy of three of 30. So that's not too bad. And I may even put down another set of buffalo. In fact, I think that's exactly what I'm going to want to do. Now, they do cost 90. But, oh, we just got a couple more Taito coins. Because of our plant and animal diversity, our biodome. HP is at 99%, which is very, very nice. Oh, yeah, spawn those bison. Now, I'm not really sure what a good animation would be for spawning the bison. Like, right now, obviously, they just kind of pop out of the air. That's probably, I don't know, I guess that's probably the best way to do it for now. I don't know if having, like, a little... I don't, you know, that's the thing. Like, the, the setting for this biome, I'm not really sure what the backstory or the setting of it is. So, I don't know if these creatures are coming in from, like, a shipment... Or if they're being, like, molecularly constructed, you know what I mean? That might be cool. Like, almost like some sort of, like, weird molecular construction where it's this kind of, um, like a grid forms. And then the grid fills in, it's like all glowing lines, and then after a moment, you get a creature. Because you're spending energy to get these creatures. So that might be cool if there was, like, the energy turned into, like, this weird molecular field, and then you got a creature from it. Um, now I'm not like a science guru or anything like that, but this is video gaming and we can do whatever we want. So I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let science dictate whether or not we can have some creatures here. Now, these cougars I want to get down and I'm, I'm kind of wondering if they'll feast on these fish as well as the, like the antelopes and stuff we're putting down. I'd like to get down maybe some prairie dogs as well right about there now we have 22 energy left and i'm gonna go ahead and say oh look at these guys now if i remember correctly these guys do sleep standing up and i read about that i actually took the time to go ahead and read about the antelope apparently antelope and a lot of i guess other prey animals that are of varying sizes but especially ones that are larger like these do sleep standing up and laying down bedded down they call it and they keep their nose and their ears constantly active and they do that to ward off predators and i thought that was cool so these guys always sleep you know with the proverbial one eye open so to speak and i guess they would have to because you know when you're a <laughs> when you're an antelope and everything's after you you never know right I'm going to go ahead and probably put down one more pack of antelopes right over here. Now, I'm not really sure if pack is the right text for these guys. It's probably, it's probably herd. Um, let's actually go ahead and click real quick on the bio decks. Now, I haven't, I haven't looked at this in a little while either. Let's go down here and, oh, fish is on here. Okay. I don't remember if they were there or not the last time. One of the things I was curious about is if some of these... Now, we really don't have, like, a lot of crazy named things here. I was curious if they had the... If they had ever made the pronunciation for the different plants and stuff. It doesn't look like there is it this time. I'm not super worried about it. Go over here. The largest prairie dog town ever recorded was Texas... It was 65,000 square kilometers in size, sized and housed over 400 million animals. Oh my God. They live in large groups called towns. Interesting, prairie dogs live in towns. I would have never thought about that. That is something else. We're definitely gonna need more plants down here though. I'm gonna put down some milkweed. And not an eastern cottonwood. Oh god, not an eastern cottonwood. No, no, cancel out the cottonwood. We don't need that. That is way more than I need. Uh, we could use some of these heath asters, though. We'll put some of those down for sure. And probably another honey mesquite. Because I know how much these guys love these things. Oh, right here is as good a place as any, I guess. 
and while we're at it, we'll go ahead and throw down some more grammar grass and some more buffalo grass. This game is shaping up to be actually a very good looking game. I mean, this is from a game that was, like I had said, just very, very simplistic to where we are now. Other things that I would like to see real quick is actually, let me go ahead and demonstrate this for you guys now. So I put down this sage bush right here and okay, so I can't get it down there, right? What I would like to see is right now I'm clicking on my my computer buttons and I am unable to move my my little owlbot around. You can see his little jets are moving, but he's not he's not moving himself. I would like to for him to be able to move around so that I could kind of manipulate where I want to put these different sage bushes down and stuff. And that's unfortunate that we can't do that right now. What else do I want to do? Go ahead and put down some more of the buffalo grass and the grammar grass because we're going to want plenty of this stuff. And more milk vetch as well because that gives a, quite a bit of food actually for the different critters. The leaf value is not bad at all. I mean, our, book, our big sage bush is actually quite good as well. I may even put one right by the water line here. And... More prairie blazing stars because those are awesome. I actually want to put these back over by our pocket of blazing stars right over here that we are making. Yeah, that's awesome. There we go. Kind of like this cool little, this like garden almost of prairie uh, blazing stars. And there's still plenty of creatures that can feast on them. So that's not an issue at all. Kind of make these ones over here. Oh, look at this big cat kind of wandering through the, through the area here. Treating everyone with respect, not attacking anyone. Oh, we got to see their sleeping animation as well. That's pretty much what happens. I have cats in my house, and they basically just fall over like that. <laughs> oh, he's back on the prowl. Back on the prowl. More, more prairie blazing stars. Love that plant. I actually want to get a ton of those. So, so far, Taito Ecology looking fantastic. Enhanced animations. Love that. Better texture quality, enjoy that as well. And yeah, the only thing, there's only a couple things left I would say that they could continue to improve. I had suggested kind of like an ambient sound. So like, see when I pass by this bee area here, if maybe I heard the sound of like buzzing bees, or if there was, or if there was uh, like maybe like the creaking of limbs when you pass by the trees and stuff. Anyway, other than that, guys, hope you're enjoying Taito Ecology. Stay foxy and much love.